Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Kenny from Absolute9. Uh, this is my first video and I'm gonna teach you how to integrate this uh, 3D character or 3D object into your scene. So, okay, first thing first, I'm gonna show you how it likes the original plate. Now, you can see I have no background here and also no uh, the monster is and I'm gonna put uh, this is you can see many tutorial about adding some background on it so it makes more reasonable so I'm gonna focus on this monster so let's I'm jump into it and you can see uh, there's a lot of happening here uh, if you want the monster asset uh, you can go to plenty of 3d object that you can find uh, you can check it out here but if you have any 3d object that you have owned uh, why not use it right now so let's get back jump to it and here we are I'm already rendering out I'm using the PNG but we'll see the real 3d so I've got some issue right here so I'm gonna jump back to it and I'm gonna show you the 3d object from cinema 4d so here we are in cinema 4d and I'm just angling the camera for the monster so it looks right for me like this one and okay I'm gonna shut this slide off, off when you render it it's ugly yeah it's it's really really ugly there's no oh no sorry I still have the ambient light now it's like this when you are rendering out but you can make it more app appealing uh, you can see there I just adding this camera to this angle and we should go back to this uh, scene and looking at the real footage so you can see right here there's a shadow around here so I'm gonna make it there's a uh, bright sky back there so it's gonna backlight right here and there's a there's not so many contrast in this uh, footage so I'm gonna make it some ambience and uh, making a bouncing light from the front of this monster so back jump to it and here we are let's see I've got three light that I already using the first one let's we add some right, ambience yeah ambience is just an overall light that you uh, yeah it's bouncing around so it's good to f make a fill in uh, the second light let's see okay this is the I'm sorry okay yeah this is the backlight the backlight from the Sun uh, I'm placing it about right here up above so I make it harsh because it's on quite uh, 1 p.m. or 3 p.m. I guess so it's quite it's still uh, 90 degrees up up my head ah yeah whatever <laughs> sorry my accent uh, okay jump to it and I'm gonna show this the last light which is yeah right here it's also make uh, because the Sun is quite big and I make two lights to uh, what what should I say uh, to compensate this section and this section so let's view one the first light is like this and the second light is like this so when I add it together it's more like this and adding the ambience now we're getting somewhere so it's just a basic one you can improve it much more with uh, the color or the yeah anything you can add it okay when you're gonna rendering out 
you are gonna make sure this have the best anti-aliasing and I know a lot of you doesn't have a quite fancy computer uh, make it yeah uh, don't crank it too much one by one and two by one is okay the filter uh, I don't even know it <laughs> okay moving on so save you can save it uh, as a PST or any PNG I'm using a PNG because uh, it will give me a, a hole uh, from what I mean uh, uh, alpha channel yeah alpha channel the anti aliasing also click you can add the ambient occlusion ambient occlusion is quite very great because it make uh, adding some shadow in a soft shadow from like a real real scene so okay I can not too much because we, I'm gonna target it for the low spec computer yeah maybe like this and you can make it a little bit contrast like here and so okay okay mm now let's see let's see let's see let's see uh, sorry it's quite big long to render because uh you know 3d yeah okay it's not my finest work but it's quite okay for me so if you have already it you can rendering out and add it to your com uh, composition uh, so here we are like this composition and I'm adding more like the blood splatter from this one. okay sorry it's rendering oh I almost forgot uh, okay you must edit the motion blur with where's the motion blur ha, la, 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 la. ambient occlusion use everything team render okay, sorry I'm gonna jump back to it ambient material author the oh yeah this is the real the real setting when I'm rendering out this one so yeah adding ambient occlusion and ending depth I'm ending it on multipass so when I want to crank the ambient occlusion alone it doesn't crank the other color from its skin and also adding right here so be because the ambient occlusion needs to add on so this is just a separating the ambient occlusion from your image and then the depth and the lacing okay uh, I really forgot where I where's the motion blur is but you can add it in your composition in After Effects uh, by clicking this button and also don't forget to click this button okay so you've got this kind of yeah monster monster zombie Dur. ah if you want to know how I'm adding this to one behind it you know it's um it's the it's a PNG so you can add it from the back uh, when I sh shut this off yeah you can see yeah you can see it's the back and the front I'm just adding a blood spreader from video copilot and also a dirt charge and color it to red and also the back one the back one also I added a blood splatter from video copilot also uh, you don't want to forget adding a motion blur like this one if not it's gonna be ugly okay so that's all about my composition for this zombie film and if you like it I'm sorry it's not quite very uh, you know detail because I'm just highlighting what I've done with this composition uh, it's quite it's not quite advanced uh, it's just you must know where where the light is when you see the real world and you must interpret it to your uh, 3d object so learn lighting more and 
yeah, compensation more. <laughs> okay, this is Kenny from Absolute Nine. Thank you for watching my video, and if you like it, please give a like. And if you don't like it, yeah, you know what to do. Please consider to subscribe my channel so I can make more this kind of video tutorial all of you how to make a composition like the zombie one so thank you guys for watching and see you next time bye